Uh, 4-1 home defeat, what happened there? Um, well, first of all, give credit to them, because I thought they were excellent side. Um, you know, full-time, worked hard to put their manager after the game. They were, they were a decent side, that's for sure. But, I mean, you look at, I'd say, three of the goals, and they're pretty poor, to be honest. I mean, the first one, can't. we've got to do better with the free kick. And then, obviously, Mitch has hung, hung on to the ball a bit too long. Um, and then, obviously, we spoke at half-time about getting the next goal, getting back into the game, and then they come down the side, go back and score. So, frustrating. Obviously, then we go and score, and then they go and score straight from the restart. So, it's something that we pride ourselves on, being better from restarts than most teams, and uh, we weren't that today. What happened with that first goal? It was a bizarre goal for me. He just looped in. Uh, everybody seemed to stand still. I think Brandon's organising. I think he's probably got his start position wrong, um, and that's why it's gone in near post so but hey it happens sometimes we were like this last season weren't we we were conceding bizarre goals um, a little bit at the start of last season and to be fair to them they've had opportunities and they've been clinical like that's, that's, that's what I would say they've been really clinical with the opportunities we've given The Fylde contingent have been saying that Hereford played really well for 25 minutes of the first half and it was the second goal which probably shouldn't have counted because it was handball It didn't matter we took too long on the ball so the rest played advantage and we took too long on the ball simple as that so can't blame the ref for that, you know, it's, it's down to us. The ball's been played out, you know, we've got plenty of time on the ball and we've really done it and then obviously that's why they've scored. So, look, we played well, first half I thought. I thought if you come in at half-time one nil up or, you know, nil nil, then it's probably about right. But when you give teams like Fylde a foothold in the game, it's, it's an uphill battle. What, what can you do to change things? Obviously, criticism about not having an imposing centre-back, what, what's... What's the latest there? Well, you know, you speak to them and, you know, and chat with their manager after the game and you send, you know, they're like a dying breed. Um, you, you're trying to find one. You know, there's, there's, there's lads out there that are waiting for a league club and, and sitting and waiting. So that's the reality of it. So we're trying to get one in, but at the end of the day, we've got to work with what we've got. You know, it's as simple as that. Um, we've got a squad together and we've, we've got to work. I'm not going to be down on the squad. I'm not going to be down on the centre arse because, you know, they're they're honest lads they want to work hard and they want to play for the football club so you know I've got to be a better coach and you know we've got to protect them to make sure that you know we don't get exposed You look quite bright going forward I think Ryan McLean took a lot of applause when he came off late in the match and obviously gave a debut to Dan Smith up front how, how did you feel things were in the final third? Yes yeah, so I thought Smith was excellent I think he had the ball at Wiley ran in behind Wiley he was a, he was a constant pest um, Ryan to his credit we brought him off at half time against Bradford and he's come today and he's had a point to prove you know, he could have scored early doors at the bar, didn't he? And he, he worked hard. He was relentless, and especially first half, he you know he give that uh, that right back some 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 real trouble. So, yeah, I mean that definitely pleasing. It's, it's probably we probably flipped it. Last year we probably built from the back and were solid and probably didn't create as many things as we were like. And this year we've obviously lost two centre halves, and then we're probably more attacking, but then we're we're conceding goals the other way. But what I would say is the the goals are lapses of concentrations. The goals aren't necessarily because we haven't got an imposing centre half. If you actually look at the goals, they're just individual mistakes. And you can't legislate for individual errors, can you? There's nothing you can do about that. Oh yeah, at the end of the day, I'm the manager. So you know, if there's individual errors and they keep happening, I'm not doing something. So I've got to go back to the drawing board and make sure that we cut those out. We keep working hard on the training ground, which we do. We put a lot of detail on things, and sometimes that takes time. And I think sometimes when that takes time sometimes you're thinking about things and you switch off for a second and that's where the goal is so it'll come it will come I am, I'm, I'm positive I'm confident the fans were absolutely magnificent again applauded the lads off applauded me um, and we'll keep fighting and make sure we get where we want to be and you can't dwell on it because it's turned around so quickly Telford away on bank holiday Monday what do you make of that one? yeah that's the best thing you can do isn't it when you've had a result like that you go to Telford um, and, and put it right straight away so I expect to go there and win so I expect that you know we've got to switch in our mentality slightly to make sure that we're more focused in those little moments. I say to the lads all the time, it's about those little two seconds. So whether the ball's in the box and you've got to switch on for that two seconds or the ball's in the other box to score, and you describe that bit of focus for two seconds, that's just minor details. Those little one percent that we need to kind of improve on to get where we need to go. So no, we're going to go there, we're going to go guns blazing and, and, and go and get a result. How will you prepare for that, given that you've only got tomorrow... Um, will you have a light training session somewhere along the line or go straight into the match? No, uh, obviously we don't train on a Sunday, so we'll go straight in, but we've already done analysis on Talford already, so that we dropped in uh, the group, so the lads will see it. Um, so we'll do um, what, you know, our game plan has already kind of been built, so the lads will know what we're doing going into Monday. Thanks for your time. No problem.